breathing in, there is awareness of breathing in, breathing out, there is awareness of breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. In, out. Insufferable behaviors, intentions and motivations, part two. Despite our best conscious intentions, Although many of us may carefully or even mindfully nurture our conscious intentions to satisfy various wants, desires, and goals, nevertheless, conflict, upset, and suffering are entirely possible, if not virtually guaranteed, should one or more subpersonalities possess and willfully want to express their intentions to satisfy perhaps far different wants desires, and goals altogether. Motivating Projections should any of us attempt to figure out what exactly motivates others to cause or otherwise trigger hurt or harm to or within us, we would almost exclusively do so from our reality perspectives, which may only reflect our conditioning and experiences rather than necessarily those of the one causing or triggering, not to mention insufferable misinterpretations and misunderstandings as well as assumptions that invariably lead to far more suffering than is necessary or warranted. If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. Since many narcissists rarely, if ever, perceive, let alone admit that anything they say or do could ever be wrong, or could even remotely cause pain or trigger suffering within others, little, if any, self-motivation exists in changing anything about their beliefs and subsequent behaviors, and any inference or accusation to the contrary becomes immediately deflected as well as projected, back onto the one who infers or accuses. The Law of Good Intentions For every positive or good intention, or even invention, in helping the masses suffer less, mostly as various technological innovations, understand how certain others will intend to devise multiple ways of manipulating them under the motivation of their own personal gain or profit, which invariably leads to restrictions and withdrawals, as well as utter destruction of the innovation itself and a resuming or intensifying of the original suffering. <laughs> 